Yo, okay, watch damage calculation is something I've started bringing up a lot lately, and I have a confession. I didn't know the damage calculation formula before making this video, but I do know somebody that does. The man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Coelho Cefalo, casually dropped the damage formulas for both physical and magic attacks. Honestly, he's the backbone of the channel. I would know nothing about this game without his insane expertise. Anyway, let's get into the meat of this maths. Let's start with the formula for physical damage and... Oh... That's too complex for me, and most likely for you as well. Now this video isn't about just spouting formulas that are very hard to understand, it's about breaking them down and explaining how damage is actually calculated. These formulas are accurate to Yokai Watch 3, unknown if they apply to previous entries. So without further ado, let's actually begin. Let's start with physical damage. First your strength stat. This is the STR, and for example, we'll take a Yokai with even strength and defense stats. This level 60 Snortle Hong has exactly 200 strength, while this level 60 Gleam has exactly 100 defense. Perfect. So your Snortle Hog first starts at a base 200 strength. Now we say he is inspirited by a Don Chen, giving him a 30% strength boost. This raises it to 260. We then half this, so it's now effectively 130 in calculating the damage. Gleam has no defense boosts, and we divide this by 4. It's now effectively 25. We take this away from 130, giving us 105. Then, Snortlehog uses double slice as its attack. This is a 25 power attack that hits twice. This is halved, so it's now effectively 12.5. We add this to our 105, giving us 117.5. This doesn't crit. Gleam is guarding, so this damage is halved, giving us 58.75. Finally, our Snortlehog is standing in the front of the grid, so the damage is multiplied by 1.1, giving a final damage of 64.65%, rounded up to 65. However, this doesn't mean the damage will always be exactly 65. As in every other RPG ever made, Yokai Watch has random damage rolls, and the margin is within 10% of the calculated number. This means the damage is actually a random number between 57 and 71, rounding down. Since this attack hits twice, the roll happens individually for each hit. The first hit may be 62, and the second may be 58, for example. That's a lot to take in, I know. But don't worry, we've got a whole other formula to go through. Fun, right? Right? I'd be a great math teacher. Alright, now for magic damage. Let's take this Brutal with 100 spirit and this mini motto. First off, Brutal gets inspirited by a dumb cap and gets an extra 30% to his spirit, bringing it to 130. Then it's halved and to an effect of 65. Next, we take Frost base 50 power and divide it by 2, so now it's effectively 25 base power. This is added to 65 to make 90. This attack crits and the damage is multiplied by 1.5 to a nice 135. Since Minimoto is weak to ice, we multiply it by 1.5 again, giving us a nice 202. Finally, Brutal is in the back tiles for some reason, which gives it a 1.1 times multiplier to a solid 223. Again, damage ranges mean this is somewhere between 201 and 245. Notice how none of Minimoto's stats were taken into account for the calculations. Magic damage bypasses the defense of the target, however, the 0.5 times guard multiplier is still there. One more small thing to mention is that Sultimates always act as physical damage, even for US Sultimates that use the Yokai Spirit. So that was my attempt at explaining the damage formulas in Yokai Watch 3. I hope you're picking up what I'm putting down, because it took me a good while to figure out how to explain this properly. There is one thing we aren't sure of yet, however. The margin for damage ranges is still not 100% known yet. There are two possible options. It's a 10% margin like we suggested here, or it could also be a margin of 10 integers. We aren't totally sure just yet. Anyway, are you enjoying these types of videos? I'm considering changing my uploads to make one and yokai analysis and one of these more general videos each day while still keeping consistent two videos a day. What do you think? This video was actually made a Sunday, so if you absolutely hate this idea, I apologise as I'll be trying to schedule for the rest of the week. Although I think this is a nice change of pace and will hopefully expand your knowledge on competitive yokai watch 3 even further. Thanks for watching.